or dice is thrown four times one time two time like this we have to get probability five or six either five we have to get where is five five or six this is our success if we don't get these two it is our failure let's throw this for four times three four so total number of times total number of times an experiment is repeated or uh, dice we understand this by telling it dice dice is thrown how many times n equals to 4 let's not write this double n n equals to 4 then probability of getting 5 or 6 this is called success probability of success it is represented by small p p equals to how many favorable case are here there are two favorable cases. One favorable case, this. Another favorable case, this. So, two favorable cases. Divided by total. Total, there are six letters here. So, two by six. So, our success is one by three. And probability of failure. Other than five or six. Like four, one, two. These are not our success. These are our failure. We represent this by Q. Q fail with them. So how many failure are there except this 6 and 5. Let's cover these two. What are there? This all are failure. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 faces remaining. 1 face, 2 face, 1 face, 2 face, 3 face, 4 face. So 4 by 6. It is 2 by 3. We can use formula also. Q equals to 1 minus P. We will get same result. 1 minus 1 by 3. How much is this? This is 2 by 3. So by any method, you will get same result. Now, in one number, what is asked? No success. Probability. Probability of no success. Means, probability of zero times success. Zero success. Its formula is, let's, first of all, let's write formula. N C R multiplies with P power R and Q power N minus R. This is our main formula. And according to this formula, N is 4. 4 C R is 0. 4 C 0 multiplies with P means 1 by 3. 1 by 3 power R. R means 0. Q means 2 by 3. N minus R. 4 minus 0. Let's write 4 minus 0, 4. Then what? Then write 4 C 0. 1 C 0 is 1, 2 by 3 power 4. Okay, let's do this. 2 by 3 and power 4. This is 16 by 30, 81. Okay. Multiply with 16 by 81. How much is this 4 C 0? 4 C 0. 4 C 0 is 1. So, let's write here only. This is 1. So, it will be 16 by 81. Can it be divided? 16 by 81. No, it cannot be divided. Let's write as it is. 16 by 81. 4C0 is 1. Now this we got. Also. In two number. One success we need. Probability. Of. One success. This formula is. Probability of. One success. Here zero success. No success. One success means. N C R. Multiply with. P, P power R and Q power N minus R. So easy. Now, 4C1 is 4, I think. 4C1. Yes, it is 4. 4 minus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, again 4. 1 by 3, power 4. So, 81. 4 by 81. 4 by 81. As it is, 4 by 81. We cannot do anything. Let's copy as it is. 4 by 81 and in three number what is it exactly three success probability of three success is given by p3 n c r p power p power r r and q power n minus r it's formula. Now let's do in calculator. 4C3 is 4. 
and 4 minus 3, 1. 3 plus 1, 4. It is 4. So, oh, same. Here also same, here also same. Okay, then. 4 divided by 81. Now, let's check answer. You have also done like this. Don't do like this. I have done one mistake here. If there was 1 by 3, 1 by 3, we can add. But 1 by 3 and here is 2 by 3. So, we cannot add. This is, we have to write 2 by 3 power 3. We cannot add because they are different numbers. If they were same number, we can add. Like x power 1 multiply with x power 1. It, we can write it x power 2. But if there is x power 1 and y power 1, we cannot write anything. We have to leave it as it is. So, there is difference between these two numbers. So, I think we did this by this method. So, it is mistake. So, let's cancel this and this. Now, let's type in calculator. And this is the correct method. 1 by 3 power 1, 2 by 3 power 3, 32 by 81, 32 by 81, similarly for this, and this is very easy to understand, 1 by 3 power 3, 2 by 3 power 1, 8 by 81, 8 by 81, actually I was just checking, you, whether you know or not, I did this mistake to make you clear, now you will not do like this, and thank you. Be ready for next question.